Howdy everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and uh, the Beagle and I have been just sitting around here, we're kind of uh, racking our collective brains here to come up with uh, our 10 must-have RV gadgets. So we have a lot of uh, RV gadgets around the rig, kind of a gadget guy, but I decided to come to uh, 10 of them that say we didn't have an RV, somehow this RV got stolen and we lost all our gadgetry. I coming up with 10 gadgets I would get right away for the new RV. So, let's go check them out. Okay, let's start with a couple gadgets that have to do with the rig's plumbing. Uh, first up is this twist on waste valve. Uh, it's not as handy anymore now that I've got my uh, fully attached Wastemaster hose, but uh, not too many people have that. So most people are going to have this bayonet type fitting here. And that's going to be on the sewer output. So this thing attaches to the sewer output. Um, if you have a rig like mine, a lot of the sewer gates are buried inside the rig, which is great because it protects it from freezing up. But what happens is you get water goes by um, leaks, leaks slowly by some of those waste valves and you end up with a pool right on the, the end piece uh, where your sewer goes out. So this thing just connects on, twists on like that and gives you a final waste valve at the end so you can keep that shut and that prevents that kind of dribble when you take the cap off of most of the, the, the waste outputs and you get that kind of dribble or sometimes more than a dribble spills out so that solves that problem. Uh, next we got my water regulator. So this is an adjustable one uh, made by Valterra. There's a few other different brands. But it's worth spending the extra dough to get one that's adjustable like this. Also it has very good flow so you get a really decent shower out of it. Some of the pressure regulators actually kind of cut down the flow. So that's fine. You protect your rigs plumbing with it. Um, but you don't get a good shower flow so this one you see I go turn on a tap in the rig and then I can adjust the, the meter so there we're down 40 psi I like to keep it around 50 so I guess protects the plumbing from any super high high pressure campgrounds but still gives it gives us good pressure for showers and stuff and in the summer this really comes in valuable we stay at a park that's got about 110 psi pressure and I've watched people's uh, hoses get blown out if they don't use regulators and one guy in particular he had a brand new fifth wheel he brought in there hooked it up with just the hose took off sightseeing when he came back his rig was uh, full of water it had burst a plumbing pipe man he was upset so yeah that's a must have so let's move on to another thing that's going to protect the rig and that's my Progressive Industries Surge Protector. So this will protect me from any kind of uh, problems that go wrong with the campground wiring. Um, it's not uncommon for campgrounds to, uh, to, to have problems with brownouts where the, the voltage drops really low or, or too high you get a surge and that can uh, ruin things, electronics in your rig. So it's just kind of a good uh, preventative maintenance. This thing won't turn on if the, if the campground pedestal is miswired and it also has a nice little readout, the one I have tells me the, the, the amperage coming in, the voltage frequency and if any errors have occurred so if something goes wrong it'll tell me something happened while I was away from the rig. So that's just the readout part, I'll just show you where I installed the, the main thing. This is where my, my wiring comes in. And you can see over there we got the, the wiring, the main power cable from the rig coming in. And this goes into that box and it's got some electronics and relays in there. And it'll just keep uh, anything from damaging the, the rig electrical wise. Um, it'll stop any spikes and surges but also like I say low voltage and high voltage it'll shut down. So it uh, usually I plug it in and it'll analyze the line for a minute or 30 seconds and then it'll switch on and then I know I'm good to go. Actually where we camped a, a power trans transformer blew out 
um, recently just out on the road and the whole campground power went down and uh, I don't think anybody had any problems but that's sort of the scenario that you, it's good just peace of mind um, we have insurance to pay for everything but you know if something went wrong and a bunch of our electronics got fried from bad electricity it'd be a pain to sit here and, and kind of have to wait for repairs and that so I think this thing runs around two hundred dollars or so okay for the next two I'm gonna have to head up on the roof to show you first up vent covers that's the first thing I do when I get a trailer especially being from the Pacific Northwest we get a ton of rain so I need to uh, to protect the openings because I like to have my uh, my vents open to get rid of all the condensation that can occur but I don't want the rain in so I had a couple of vent mates um, put on when we got the trailer but I've since switched to these uh, fantastic vents I actually have two more on order coming from Amazon in a few days so I'm gonna have all three with the vent mate so I'll just show you why I like them a little bit bigger a little more volume nicer bigger openings and also I love the the attachments here it makes it quick to to take it on and off if I show you how these other ones were attached over here the vent mates they use a uh, actual nut and bolt which is a total pain to to undo if you want to get under there and clean out the cover and clean out your vents so I really like the way this one attaches with the cotter pins really easy to get off let's pop them like that easy as pie eh? let me pop it off what's that sounds like a beagle hey oh she's mad she can't find me <laughs> so yeah there we go looks like I actually got some cleaning to do there's my fantastic fan so they just pop off on and off super easy really like that also up on the roof here is these gutter extenders coming from a rainy place too that's a must-have for me you can see the extent the extent the originals are they're only out around an inch or so this extends them right out and that stops from a lot of black streaks happening right under the gutters kind of pushes the rain out a bit along the gutters you can see uh, I got uh, I think I needed a couple packs of four for my slide my awning and uh, the roof ones very inexpensive but saves you a lot of work next gadget it's another super cheap one a little uh, socket that you uh, put onto a cordless drill and then it makes running your uh, stabilizer jacks up and down a breeze helps you quickly set up the only thing is watch your wrist if you have a powerful drill you can get some kickback maybe some, maybe hurt your wrist but other than that handy device another must-have gadget for me is storage bay locks um, mine had the, the original standard CH751 key that everybody has um, they, they were terrible crap really hard to use so I upgraded to a cylinder style lock and it's been great it's got a nice little dust cover keeps dust and dirt and water out of it and it's a much more positive uh, key to use okay next we have a little addition to the RV screen door and that's this nice grab bar up here can't believe I waited this long to install it you know for years I've been closing the door try you have to grab this plastic you grab this plastic it pops out I used to grab this thing you can all obviously see this is a replacement one because uh, eventually the screws wore through and I ended up cracking that one trying to pull the door closed but now we have this nice uh, grab bar sweet uh, another handy use I found for it is it's a great place to uh, 
hang wet towels or whatever you want them to dry. And you hang your towel on there. And then it's got the wind going through the screen to uh, dry the towel. Another one, not very expensive, but it makes a big difference. Also kind of makes the door a little bit more firm, kind of firms up the structure on the door. Very easy to install. Just drill a couple holes in the, the metal, put some screws in, no problem. Another very inexpensive little gadget sits on the top of your door and protects your awning from damage by the sharp corners of the door. It's just a little roller ball. Let's go have a little closer look at that. There we go. Yeah, just a little nylon ball roll so uh, save your awning from wearing out where the door is constantly opening and closing. Because ours clears, the awning clears ours when we're, uh, you know, we have it straight out. But a lot of times, especially for the rain, we have the awning slanted on one end, so we have one end, one arm down. That's when it really uh, hits hits on there. Sheesh, that awning's filthy. Looks like I got another job. Never ends, does it? Okay, and the final of my must-have favorite gadgets, RV gadgets, are these rubber tire chocks. I just got these a couple months ago, and man, I should have got these originally. I always went with these stupid plasticky yellow ones. You run over them once, they crush. They're cheap enough. I spent a little bit extra. I think there's, these were only like 20 bucks, but they're heavy, heavy rubber. You know, nice. You can put them in the truck, bad bed of the truck. They're not going to go anywhere. These things will float around. You always got to secure them, not these puppies. They also have a nice rubber grip on the bottom, so on cement, they're hard to even move. You get a plastic one, you know, slide all over the frickin' place. So yeah, I'm really high on those ones. They're also a little taller. I like the slant on them better, get a little better hold on the tire, so there we go. Well, I hope you found that list informative. If you have any uh, gadgets that you really like, leave them in the comments below so we can all uh, explore them. I know I'm always interested in new gadgets. Now I think Angie and I are going to have to relax the rest of the day. Our, our brains are hurting from all that thinking. Maybe next time we'll uh, come up with a list of uh, RV pet gadgets, right Angie? Yeah, how about the pet gadgets? <laughs> Okay, well, until next time, this is Ray from LoveTheRV.com, wishing you happy trails in your RVing adventures. You know, we're having a good time down here in Snowbird Paradise. Cheers! <laughs>